What's up guys, this is Luke from Android Crate, and man, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. It's been about four months, which is absolutely crazy. Um, basically, it's just been a really, really busy year at school since I have uh, major exams this year. So I've had like barely any time to make a video. So hopefully from now on I'll be able to release them uh, a bit more frequently. So anyway, uh, before I get started today, I just want to say there was a bit of confusion with the uh, custom ROM installation for some people. Um, for certain tablets, they didn't have... Uh, they didn't have a uh, recovery installed, so I'm going to be showing you guys today how to install uh, Clockwork Mob Recovery on your LY F1 tablets. Basically, how to uh, identify the LY F1 tablet as if it looks like this. Basically, it has those three capacitor buttons on the side. If maybe it's white, um, it might be called the NAT PC M009S or the Taptronics M009S. They, I'll list a few of them in the description so you can check if you're tablet is an LYF1 device and you can always uh, ask me and I'll, be, I'll try to tell you if, uh, if I know. So anyway let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is download the files in the description. It's just a zip file. So you want to extract it and put it on the root to, of your uh, SD card. So you want to put your SD card back in your tablet and you want to download an app called Terminal Emulator. You go to the Play Store and you download Terminal Emulator. There it is. So once you've downloaded Terminal Emulator you want to open it up and first you want to type in SU and that will grant it super user permissions so the next step varies from user to user it might be the same for a lot of people but for me everyone types in uh, CD first okay and then a space but the next uh, the next path varies uh, so you want to find the path to your actual SD card where you put your files onto it so for me it's uh, forward slash storage Make sure you get this right guys, you don't want to get a typo because it's really hard to notice as the text is so small. Slashed SD card 1 and then I put a forward slash at the end. And to find this path if you're really unsure you go into your file manager, uh, you could get Astro File Manager or anything like that. And you find your SD card where you put your files on and then you can look at the path. There's, it usually shows a path at the top or something like that and you just copy that in. So anyway, let's make sure I typed it in properly. Uh, yep, press enter. So now you're in your SD card. So next what you want to do is type in sh space install whoops, uh, sorry, install dash recovery dot whoops, dot sh uh, Oh, I forgot to put a made a typo there guys, sorry. So yeah, uh, sh uh, space install dash recovery dot sh. That is actually one of the files that we extracted onto our SD card. So press enter, and there we are. So the next one you want to do is type in sh space again. Uh, now you want to type in reboot. There we go. So one sec. So you want to type in reboot dash. enter again and your device should reboot so that's the normal reboot so far but it should reboot into recovery give it a sec there we have it it's been rebooted into recovery so how you navigate through this you use your your volume keys uh, experienced users might already know this and to uh, select something you use your power uh, your power button here so let's see go up and down then press power key and go in. Then to uh, go back, you just go back, go back like that. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions about like the path or anything like that, ask me away, and I'll try my best to answer you. If you if you're confused uh, which devices actually qualify for LYF1 devices, ask me, uh, and I'll try my best to tell you. Basically, it just if it looks something like this, it, it probably is an LYF1 device. So yeah guys, I hope this helped you out, liked it if, if, uh, if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want more like this as I'm going to try my best to upload a lot more frequently.